Ugh, I wonder what horribly damp creature we're gonna have to deal with today. I hope it's the giant squid. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? That would be... Uh, thrilling. What's the matter? You didn't go for another late night swim, did you? No, no, I was reading. Or trying to. Murmish is a very challenging language. I thought it was just a bunch of squeaks and squeals. It's more than that, Daniel. Or it will be if I ever get it sorted. Good morning, class. I hope you're wide awake, because today's subject is one of the most unruly, uncooperative creatures you'll ever lay eyes on. So, pay attention and do not deviate from my instructions. I don't want any underwater shenanigans. Is that clear? Yes, Professor. Good. Now, who knows what a dug bog is? Dug bogs? Those things aren't dangerous. Might bite your ankles, but that's about it. I think you'll find, Mr. Page, that the local species are more challenging than the modest-sized specimens found elsewhere in the country. That's a dog bog. It's bloody huge. Precisely why one must approach with great caution. Or maybe don't approach it at all? A wise choice, although not always an option. Years ago, nearly every pond, stream, and mud puddle around Hogwarts was home to one or more of the beasts. Very inconvenient. I bet. In the last hundred years, the local population has decreased considerably, which is why the Hogwarts grounds have become a sanctuary where dug bogs can be kept safely away from poachers and those who might want to harvest their tongues for potion-making. Oh, yeah. Can't make a good focus potion without one of those. Now, chances are you won't encounter a dug bog today, which is why I also want you to look for another curious creature, the Lobolug. Normally, these are found at the bottom of the North Sea, but there are a few in the Great Lake that can occasionally be found in the shallows. That doesn't look particularly dangerous. Ah! But looks can be deceiving. There's a reason why the Mer people use lover lugs as weapons. They propel poison from their snouts when threatened. Once again, caution is key in any encounter. Good luck. Remember, we're only supposed to stun the Dugbog, not hurt it. I'll keep that in mind if one tries to bite me in half. <gasps> oh yeah? What do you call that? Congrats, Daniel. You successfully subdued a log. It's not my fault. I can't think straight on account of this dying headache. A headache? That's strange. Lottie missed class for the same reason. It's Kyle's fault. He had us singing songs all night. I knew you'd sing. Yeah, well, someone convinced me my voice wasn't that bad. It was kind of fun. I'm glad. Weird that it gave you a headache, though. The same thing happened to me, remember? It's probably nothing. Just nerves or something like that. What is that?
sorry I'm late. We had a bit of excitement in Defense Against the Dark Arts class this morning. Oh no. I hope everyone's alright. A few bumps and bruises, but otherwise okay. Just another day at Hogwarts. Well, if you need more time, I'd certainly understand. No, no, I'm ready to go. In fact, I can already speak Murmish. Really? Well, no, not really. But I memorized a few phrases that I think will help. Assuming the Mer people actually know something about the song. I'm sure they do. Right. Um, let's see. Sorry, it's awful now, but the book says it'll sound more normal underwater, I hope. I hope so too. Regardless, thank you for your help. It means a lot to me that you'd go to such lengths to help someone you barely know. I'm happy to. Besides, I really want to hear this song of yours. It must be very special. It is. Especially to my granny. Singing it for her would be the best gift I could ever give her. She really doesn't remember any of it? Just a few lines. Moon calves dancing in the field tonight Big eyes glowing in the pale moonlight That's lovely. Isn't it? It's all I've had to go on for years. We tried to recover Granny's memory of listening to it, but it's lost. If... She'd thought to do it sooner. I'm sorry. But we'll find something. I just know it. We should do it soon while I'm still here. How about tonight? That soon? Um, all right. I'll have to sneak out, but my friends will cover me. I'll see you tonight. I don't know how the Mer people are going to react to seeing me again, but I'll try to explain as best I can. Right. I'll follow your lead. I suppose I should say hello. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, singing which long ago we remember. Yes, that's Cal's granny. Um, she had a memory in a small flask. I think he recognizes you, Cal. You must look like your granny. He says he saw her in a boat. She had the memory file with her and she was singing. He heard her.
Really? He says she dropped it into the lake on purpose. He tried to give it back, but she wouldn't take it. That's odd. Why wouldn't she take it? Cal, no! What are you doing? I know. How do I say this wasn't my idea in English? Stop! You're hurting him! Don't you get it? He heard the song! He's got a memory of it! That song belongs to me! Are these songs? Have you been taking our memories? Are these songs? Have you been taking our memories? No. All gave them willingly. I'm not hurting anyone. But why? You don't understand. I've been searching for so long. I've heard so many songs. But never mine. So, so I keep some. And... Revisit them when I'm sad. It's a comfort, don't you see? They fill a hole. What are you talking about? What hole, Cal? The hole in me! This isn't right, Cal. No, it's mine. If anyone deserves to have this memory, it's me! Cal, look at him. Look at what you're doing. This isn't you. Please, Cal. Your life isn't defined by one lost song. There's so much more than that. Oh no. No. What have I become? How many memories have you stolen, Cal? I told you. I gave them freely. I merely collected them and kept them. But they're not yours to keep, are they? Not like this. This isn't a collection. This is an obsession. I only wanted what I was owed. My legacy. I know, but you should be focused on your own music, Cal. Your own future. You don't need someone else's song for that. Oh, okay. That's one way to do it. I need to let go of the past and focus on the future. My future. You came back. I think it's your granny's file. He kept it. After all these years, I don't... I don't know what to say. After what I did to you, to show such kindness, why? I think he understood, Cal. He kept that file for decades. Kept it safe. I'm 
Tilly could return it to its rightful owner. You. I can't believe it's in my hands. I don't... I don't deserve this. No one deserves it more than you, Cal. You made a mistake, but this is your chance to make up for it. You're right, and I will. I promise. I don't suppose you have a pensive in that bag of yours, do you? Sadly, no. My granny has one, but I'd like to watch it alone before bringing it home. There's a pensive in the headmistress's office. I don't know. Do you think she'd let me use it? Only one way to find out. Thanks for helping us, Professor Brindlemore. You're welcome. Now, I have assured the headmistress that this will mean the end of your underwater adventures. Was I wrong in saying so? Definitely not. I won't even dip a toe into the water, I promise. Actually, don't be surprised if you're called upon to engage with the Mer people. Despite certain misunderstandings, they seem to tolerate your presence more than most magic folk. Oh? I guess my mermish was better than I thought. Quite. Well, then the pensive is yours. I do hope this memory is everything you want it to be. Me too. Ready? After so many years, I can't believe I'm finally going to hear it. What are you waiting for? Pour it in. But what if I don't like it? What if it's not special at all? Of course it's going to be special, Cal. It's your family's song. And once you've heard it, you can play it and make it your own. Beautiful, Cal. Thank you. To be honest, I'm still learning how to play it. I'm hoping to do it justice by the time I sing it for Granny Petra. I'm sure she's going to love it. I hope so. I received an owl from her this morning. I told her about the file and the mer person who held on to it. And he was right. She did throw it into the lake all those years ago. But why? Simple. She was afraid she'd never be good enough to sing it. But you said she has a lovely singing voice. She does. But it's not always so easy to believe the best about ourselves. Especially when we're young. It's much easier to see or hear everything we're doing wrong. So she covered it up by saying the memory had been stolen. Yes. And she was too ashamed to ever admit it. That I understand. I'll do better than that. I'm going to sing it with her, to remind Granny how special she is. That's perfect, Cal. After that, I'm going to play it for as many people as possible so it's never lost again. <laughs> <laughs> 